to maximize staying power, 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 power. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my November BoxyCharm box here for you today and I was super excited about this box because I don't usually look up like spoilers and I didn't specifically look up spoilers, but just scrolling through my Instagram, I did see a little spoiler of what was coming in this box. So I was super excited to get it. So yeah, I'm just gonna run through these different products. I have gone ahead and tried these out. So I have some thoughts for you. And so I give you some little mini reviews along the way. I don't know why I did that. Mini reviews. Let's get to the mini reviews. <laughs> First off, there's a skincare thing in here. This is the Skin Iceland Icelandic Relief Eye Pen. It's a full size and it's a value of $20. It says this cutting edge triple acting eye cream in a portable pen is formulated with a breakthrough technology to combat three major eye issues. Dark circles, puffiness, and wrinkles all while on the go. You can use it morning and evening. Dab cream gently on under eye area. It says a cooling, a slight cooling sensation is normal. I didn't notice a cooling sensation when I used this today. Um, I like that it's in like a pen type form. What I don't really love about it, um, I mean, it's fine, it's functional, but this is plastic. I would love if this were like, you know, metal or something like on the, um, Benefit puff off. I love that. It just feels very cooling just the applicator itself and I feel like it smooths on the eye better because it's just a very smooth kind of a Shape and or whatever you would call that into it. It just it puts on the product better Whereas this I found that it it didn't drag badly, but it's it was a little scratchy feeling um, I was surprised that it looks kind of like um like a cream. I mean, it says it's a cream, but I guess I was expecting more of like a gel. Now it does like, you know, blend in like a gel or a cream would, but anyway, I don't know. I didn't really notice like a lot of cooling. I feel like a little bit on my hand, but I didn't really notice that on my under eyes. Um, I didn't notice anything instantly happening, but it says it has glacial flower extract. So Sounds fancy, sounds nice, and it's nice that it is portable. Then there's a brush in here. This is the Crown Brush C513 Pro Detail Crease. It's full size, and it's a value of $12.99. It says, the Pro Detail Crease brushes bullet shape and dense copper blend bristles easily fit into the crease of your eyelid. This brush is made with a high grade of Capra hair, making it easy to clean and maintain with proper care. It says using the outer corner of the eyelid with powder products to create extra depth and intensity to smoky eye looks as well as in the lash line as in the lash line to finish off the look. So I actually use this kind of on the inner corners of my eyes today um, and it was fine. I mean, it. I like the shape of it. I like how tiny it is. It's a very little brush. Um, not the softest bristles, but not like super scratchy or anything. I would say kind of like middle of the road. It does have a little like groove in here for your finger. So that's really nice. So that's a little added detail to it. So yeah, tools are always nice. So this is nice. Sadly, this is something that I don't really love. This is the Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Lip Cream. It's a full size and it's a value of $20. It says these full coverage, high impact liquid lipsticks last for hours without the need to touch up. Their creamy formula goes on smoothly and dries to a beautiful matte finish in a snap. Apply lip cream on the middle of the lower lips and rub lips together for product to spread evenly. Repeat until you reach desired coverage and look work quickly. This product dries fast. So I got the shade Antique Pink. Yeah, Antique Pink. Love the color. Like it's a really pretty liquid lipstick. It's kind of like that doe foot applicator. It's a pretty like liquidy sort of a formula. Um, so I like the color. So that's a good thing about it. I really like the color. Um, and honestly, it didn't like it wore well, it didn't wear badly. The thing I don't really like about this is it's one of those liquid lipsticks that stays kind of tacky and strange on the like inner part of your lips and outer corners. I just kept noticing and I, and I thought like, is this ever gonna dry? But it really just always stayed sticky. And when I would try to talk, my lips were kind of sticking together. So just did not like that about it. I mean, maybe I put too much on, maybe I didn't allow it enough time to dry and it just kind of stayed tacky. Maybe I needed to like hold my lips open for it to dry. I don't know. Let me know your feedback on this if you have some tips and tricks for me. Um, but when I used it, it was just a little strange. 
Oh, it smells good. I forgot about that. What does it smell like? Um, sweet. It smells sweet. Like fruity or something. And I really like this. This is so pretty. This is the Vintage Illuminating Face Highlighter. It's a full size and it's value of $32. And it says this highlight has reflective pearls that add radiance on contact, a delicate glow, and a diamond-like finish to the skin. It says using a fan brush, sweep highlight onto your cheekbones after you've applied your blush. For an added glow, dust lightly over freshly hydrated skin on the forehead, nose, and chin. So I do have this on today as my highlight and I think it's so pretty. First off, I love the packaging. It just looks very vintage and it just looks pretty. It's kind of like ivory with like, you know, golden looking roses. It's so cute. This even looks vintage, really pretty. And this is big. This is 8.16 grams. So big old size has a mirror up there, which is really nice. It's a really pretty kind of like peachy golden color. It is more on the subtle-ish side. Like it's, I have way more Wabam highlighters in my collection. This one is more just a beautiful blush topper, but I really, really like this because it can be built up. It's better for every day. It's just more kind of like work and school appropriate, you know, but it still gives you that beautiful glow. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if the swatch is really gonna do it justice because it does kind of have to be built up, but I'm really enjoying it. You can see it on my cheekbones. So I really like this. And this was the thing that I saw the little spoiler about that made me so excited to get this box this month because I loved the palette we got last time from Studio Makeup. So this is the Studio Makeup Eyeshadow Palette. It's a full size and it's a value of $49.95. It says the on-the-go eyeshadow palette includes nine shades that are perfect for creating day or night looks. To maximize staying power, 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 <laughs> start with an eyeshadow primer. Blend these smooth, buttery shadows to create your desired look. So the one last time was kind of more um, warm toned and neutral. Now, one thing I will say, mine got glued a little bit unevenly. So my palette is just slightly off, but that's not a really big deal. That doesn't really bother me. Last time it was more warm toned and neutral. This is still neutral, but this is more kind of like pinky burgundy. So gorgeous. This is what I have on my eyes today. This is amazing. The only one that has a little bit of issue is this one. And it's not really even issue. It's just a chunkier shadow. So it works better if you use like a Mac fix plus, which is what I did today. So here are swatches for you guys. Amazing. Oh my gosh. I was so excited to get this. I love these shadows. I feel like they are amazing quality. They blend like a dream. They wear amazingly well. They're so pigmented and buttery. I mean, this brand has their eyeshadow game down. Like, these are good. Really, really good. Um, really, there's not any negatives I have to say about it. Other than this one's a little bit chunky, needs kind of a MAC Fix Plus. It does have some fallout. So that's really the only one that's a little bit tricky to work with, but it's still really beautiful. So love this palette. Okay guys, so that's everything that I got in my box this month. So I just added up the value and it is $134.94. So another great box. I think this was another win from BoxyCharm. You know, while I don't love this liquid lipstick and Skincare isn't ever my favorite thing to get in a box. Overall, like, I mean, I love this palette, love this highlighter, really like the brush. So overall, this is absolutely another win box. I love BoxyCharm. I always look forward to it, especially when they include studio makeup palettes because they are so good. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you want to sign up for BoxyCharm, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. If you guys have any questions for me, just ask those down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!